I was raised by my mom and my late father to embrace nature. Experiencing it was what I knew as a result of their input and influence. But when you leave home at 17, you don't know where you're going, and you can't know that the choice is made out of passion or caprice, will lay the foundation for the rest of your life. I left San Francisco in 86 as an artist, skater, and punk, propelled by teen angst to follow a drummer boy to Europe. Eventually, home became the fabulous city of Berlin, where I blossomed as a social elite, the wife of Baron Elmar von Hessling. On the way, I'd worked in Rococo garb as a singer backing up Sin with Sebastian, a mid-90s Euro two-hit wonder. I had also been a fashion designer, worked at the opera as an extra, a translator in the film industry, a jazz singer. Life was exciting with everything from red carpet parties to underground clubs, art shows, love parades, salons, and of course, witnessing the fall of the Berlin Wall. Change washed over me again while on tour in Cornwall, England, summer 1997. I discovered surfing. I found a new passion. In ensuing years, I would embark on surf trips abroad, frequently alone. One day on my return, the D word arose. I was crushed. We both cried. <laughs> I arrived in Santa Cruz, California after 17 years abroad, a piece of flotsam on the jet stream tide. My world had morphed. I needed my own fiscal life, and I needed a vocation that embraced a surfing lifestyle. I stumbled on a fledgling belt company, which a friend needed help with and soon sold to me. Betty Belts was born and the ride began. <laughs> <laughs>